Shane, you've got uh, the first question followed by Anthony. Dryden, is there a, what, what's your reaction to, to having the record now? Um, is it a sense of relief? Is it a sense of uh, a compliment, accomplishment? What's, what's going through your head with everything with this right now? Uh, just very humbled. Um, just to be mentioned with, with uh, you know, the guy that, that I passed, it's very humbling. Um, I think the most special part so far has just been seeing all the reactions of the guys. Um, you would have thought it was them breaking the record, honestly, uh, you know, with how excited they all are. And, and you know, it, it's, uh, it's very humbling. Uh, without saying it's a very special night as far as, uh, you know, Dryden being recognized and, and getting the shutout and setting a new record, that's that's a record I didn't think would be would be touched. And so proud of him, excited for him. Uh, it was a good night for us. Ryan, maybe uh, talk a little more about Ryan Miller. You know, he's a you know fellow American, born goaltender, you know, a Midwesterner like yourself. Is he someone you know growing up that, uh, that you looked up to? Yeah, he was definitely my uh, probably one of my favorite goalies growing up. I still remember watching him play. Uh, I think it was in Vancouver, the Olympics, when he got MVP of the Olympics, and that was one of the probably the most memorable. Um, experience I had watching a goalie and just seeing a goalie dominate was Ryan Miller at the Olympics. It was crazy. I think that was kind of what gave me the dream to, to keep playing goalie and see how good I could be. Cause you know, I saw him performing at the great, at the biggest stage. And obviously he had a super long, super successful career. And um, you know, if I can just do anything that he did, I, would you know, it'd be uh, amazing. Daniel McElroy, do you have a question? Yeah, Dryden, congrats on the achievement. Do you want to talk a little bit about your thought process and your mindset as the game progressed into the third period down to zeros? Yeah, um, you know, obviously in the first, it was great that we got out to a big lead and, you know, it makes my job a little bit easier. And, um, you know, I wasn't really thinking about a shutout until maybe after the second period when it was 5 nothing. And, um, yeah, I think we shut them down in the third. I think I had maybe three shots in the third and none of them were anything um, too threatening. So, uh, I think, yeah, probably the last five minutes went a little slower than usual, but, um, you know, once that, once the buzzer went off, I didn't have a ton of, ton of time to think about it before, you know, everybody was on top of me, it felt like. Anthony, do you have another question? I'm sure, you know, breaking this record wasn't really something you were thinking about, you know, 24 seven and kind of taking up, you know, your whole hockey mindset, but is there almost a sense of relief to, you know, kind of get that, 27th shutout, put that behind you and, you know, get back to focusing on, you know, the big picture here. Yeah. I think after I, after I tied it against St. Cloud, I just kind of uh, wanted to not wanted to get it over with, but, you know, wanted to get it out of the way. Um, I'm glad I was able to do it at home. That was one of my goals for sure was to, to do it in front of the amazing fans that we've had here. And, you know, these fans have been so supportive of me for over my, um, you know, three and a half years here. And um, I'm really happy I got to do it at home and, um, you know, it's even better to complete our, our sweep for our, our first CCH, CCHA series. Kevin Dudley, do you have a question? Dryden, your teammates gave you uh, quite the reception there uh, after after it. Uh, maybe talk about uh, talk about that. Yeah, um, you know, I, I got to talk to him in the locker room, and it was, I know, I almost got a little emotional. You know, these guys, these guys means everything to me. They're my best friends. Um, you know, everybody I've had here over the four years, um, the best best teammates, best friends I've had, I've had. And, you know, uh, I've made some of my, my lifelong friends here at MSU and I just can't thank them enough for everything. And, um, you know, it was, it's a team. I I'm looking at it as a team record. Um, you know, everybody's so excited and, um, you know, it happens to be my name that goes up there, but, um, it was, it's a team, definitely a team thing. There's so many of these games where you, you manage leads in the third period and, and protect, a shout out for Dryden. And I know you're trying to protect the win first and foremost, but did you get a sense on the bench that there was anything special happening where, I mean, the only two shots got to him in the third period, anything was happening where that was part of the goal tonight was to get him that shutout at home. Uh, you could feel it. You know, it's, we've all, all in the hockey business. You don't talk about it. Uh, you don't, you don't mention it. Um, but you could definitely feel it. And the guys were just talking on the bench and going out in the third period about just, you know, playing the right way, playing for each other. And I think the their point was they were playing for their goaltender. Uh, and I thought the guys did a great job of that. And uh, very, very proud of that, 
you know, that demeanor from our group and very happy again for Dryden. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name, Anthony, Anthony Trebelgia. It's close enough. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, coach, as, as the seconds are winding down there, um, it, Ryan standing in front of the net and, you know, as, as the clock hits zero, he's, he's the first one there to, to hug Dryden and, and congratulate him. It, obviously this, you know, achievement is an individual, you know, achievement in the record books, but you know, he can't do that without the guys in front of him, you know, throughout his years here. What, what do you think this means for the guys, you know, in the room outside of, of Dryden to be a part, you know, of this and, and help him reach that achievement? Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't know if I can, I can share that feeling only because I'm, I'm not one that has helped him get there. Like the three previous groups uh, from his freshman year, all the way to uh, the end of last year. And then this group, um, you know, to, to Jack McNeely, Reggie Lutz, uh, the guys that have been here for a while, the, the, the seniors that we have this year with Dryden, that was, that was pretty special uh, on the bench in the locker room after, uh, because they know his journey. And, you know, one thing I want to make sure we, we recognize here too, is, uh, I appreciate my recruiting coordinator recruiting a goaltender like Dryden McKay, and that's Todd Cannot. Um, and and so I think there's a lot of people that are smiling tonight just because of the type of human being that Dryden McKay is. Uh, he's a selfless human being. When you know when when he hits the accolades and he has all the credit for shutouts and wins, those types of things, he's the first one to back up and put the team in front of them and, and say thanks to them. And so there's a lot of people that have a hand in this, uh, a lot of players over the last three years, now this fourth year, um, that feel really good about this because they were a big part of it with Dryden.